Gamers, welcome to my boulders. Now, you're gonna look at this title screen and say, wow, looks like Mario Kart DS. Well, you would be right and wrong because this is a mod as you would expect from this channel. We're gonna go ahead and just jump into this. Everything looks the same except Mario's got Cappy now. That's pretty cool. Uh, unlike Ermi Kart DS where it had a bunch of new characters, I believe this mod has all the originals with a couple of maybe new things. Sonic's in the game. Never mind. I don't know what's going on. Okay, you know what? Let's see who else is in here. We got Luigi. We got Peach. We got <laughs> we got Yoshi. I was not expecting Sonic. What the heck? Bomberman. That's cool. Who else? Master Chief. Holy crap! Crash Bandicoot. This is the best roster. This is the dream roster for Mario Kart. Take notes, Nintendo. We got Dry Bowser. Nice. Dry Bowser's got some nice little beady eyes. I don't know why I like the beady eyes. Diddy Kong. Oh man, Diddy Kong. Why are you, Diddy, Diddy Kong's eyes are freaking giant. Holy crap. What? No way, dude. God of War representation. I was not expecting that. Is that a zombie? I think that's a, wait, what even is that? I have no idea what that is. It looks like a ro a robot. It looks like something from a Resident Evil game, but I'm actually not sure. We're playing as Sonic, okay? I love that there's, <laughs> I love that Sonic, of course, has all his sound bits. That's so awesome. All right, we got to play the only cart that's worth playing, uh, which is, I can't find it. Oh, Dry Bomber. All right, 150 hard because we are not wimps. We are God Gamers. All right, now we're going to do some Mario Stadium. Not going to say I'm not a fan of this music. It's very loud. Okay, but the level itself looks very, very cool. Um, it's definitely scaled down, which I actually kind of like because Mario Kart 8's got the 12-player thing going on. So it makes sense to scale the level a little bit smaller. It actually works really well. All right, can I not get, like, third? I feel like I'm obligated to get first place. Okay, here we go. Get the snipe. Get the snipe. I said get it. This is my last chance. Get the snipe. Ah, no. Ah, that was close. All right, next course. Okay, next we've got Moo Moo Meadows from uh, Mario Kart Wii. Now, I know Nathaniel prefers Moo Moo Farm, but I actually really like Moo Moo Meadows. I think it's a lot more interesting than Moo Moo Farm is. Gotta say, so far, I am super impressed with how fleshed out and how well-sized the levels are. They feel like an extremely good length. That was my thing with Ermi Kart when I played that earlier, was that some of the tracks felt a little long, maybe even a little short, but these actually feel just right, which is fantastic. I really like the music in this track. It's got a very nice jam to it. Oh, come on, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Really? What is this, Mario Kart 7? All right, next is Toad Factory. Okay, nice. We got, I don't know why that, that's flickering out, but that's cool. They kept the boost in. Of course, we got the ramps. Ramps are sized appropriately. I am so impressed with how well uh, this track is scaled. That's, the past three all been really, really well done. Also, the arrows don't flip. I'm pretty sure that they flip per lap in the original game. So I don't know how I feel about that. That could be something they could fix. Oh, whoa, wow. That was amazing. All right. I'm getting my feels back in. I'm getting the feels on how to play. Just as it's, I swear, as soon as I'm like, hey, I'm doing good, that's when I play that. But it doesn't matter, we got first anyway. Okay, now this course is freaking amazing. Um, I've played this one before, and let me tell you, it's a freaking treat. You start outside the castle, you know, we've gone into castles a couple times, right? Have you ever just gone through the bomb battlefield, started playing? Yeah, no, you haven't done that. Look at how amazing this is. You've got some sick Babam Battlefield remix playing. I don't even care if I'm doing bad. This is just so incredible. We're diving underneath and then we go back towards the castle. It's just so awesome. It's such a creative idea. I love I just I love that this exists. I just wish it was longer. That's the thing. This course is probably a little on the short side. They could have added a little bit more. Again, could have like thrown in Womp's Fortress or you know, maybe Jolly Roger Base somehow, but or even Peach's Slide, but otherwise, fantastic course. God, that course is so, so good. Ooh. So, Wario Goldmine, will this be the Mario Kart 8 remake or the Wii version? We'll see. Hmm, okay, that sign came from Mario Kart 8. This looks like another re-D, re-D remake. The minecarts are just gone. They're on vacation. Hey, man, even minecarts got to take a break. I'm also glad he can still do the shortcut because I wasn't even paying attention and just hoping it would work. Yeah, so he definitely made the steep slants a lot less steep. Uh, otherwise, besides that, this is a very faithful recreation. All right. Take the other route, see how this one is. Pretty much the same thing. Honestly, I think it's faster. I think it's way faster, actually. Okay, so this is kind of a weird one. I guess they didn't change anything. 
The final square uh, from the DS, okay. All right, well, it doesn't look like this one really changed at all. I like the new music, music's pretty solid. I'm just gonna do a lap and see if anything's different, but maybe not. Okay, I don't think anything's different, so we're just gonna go ahead and move on to a different course. Okay, so from the picture of Baby Park, yeah, this is another Reedy, Reedy, Reedy make. So it's gonna be Mario Kart 8's version of Baby Park. I'm gonna be done with this course in less than a minute. <laughs> Literally less than a minute. I love that he changed like the, the sound of the item box, but okay, there wasn't really much to that. All right, now we're gonna try out Music Park from the 3DS. Now this one has like a lot of moving parts and stuff, so curious to see how this goes and we'll see. All right, so I didn't think, I was thinking maybe the piano would start playing, but nah, not on the DS. Uh, music notes, so the music notes are in, but uh, that's really it. Oh, we got rid of the, um, hmm, that's interesting. We got rid of that little uh, drum that's usually in that corner. Okay, so this course, it, it, while it does look very nice, there's definitely more work that needs to be done in the future. So hopefully it's more fleshed out and has more of the moving parts. Though what is kind of funny is that uh, I think the mini map is figure eight circuit. Or we're just kind of going all over it. I wonder if I haven't even been paying attention to the bottom. Maybe every map is uh, figure eight circuit. Uh, I guess we'll try out the boost panels. We... What? Raccoon City from Resident Evil? Oh my god! <laughs> this is so cool! What the heck? Wow! Listen to the music, guys. Dun, 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 Why is this the music? Why is Sans the freaking music? Where do I go? I don't know where to go. Oh, I guess I should follow the race. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Oh, that was funny. There's a zombie on the road. That's cool. Yeah, this is this is such a surprise. I was not expecting Raccoon City of all this, the, the places that could be created. That's insane. All right, this is the final battle against Sans. Are you ready? Blue Shell time. Oh, yes. Screw you, Blue Shell. Finally. Finally, I have revenge against those stupid things. Oh, that race felt good to finish. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. Okay, so next is another Mario-themed track. We got Mario Circuit from the Wii. And this track looks very narrow. Holy crap. Oh, there we go. It opened up a little bit. Okay, so I think out of all the tracks, this one definitely feels the most different. Um, this doesn't even really look like Mario Circuit. I, th it's, I think it's because there's, like, just air. There's, there's nothing on the sides. This track does feel a little on the long side. Uh, it's not really the worst thing in the world, but it definitely feels a little long. Okay, next, Rock Rock Mountain from Mario Kart 7. This one is going to feel very different. Uh, just because, I mean, this course is very reliant on gliding. Whoa, big, big jump. Okay. So yeah, that's really weird to do without the glider, but hey, it still works. Oh, I love the moon though. That's really cool. I think the original game, you can see the moon as well, but that just looks really awesome at that angle. Okay, now onto Cloud Top Cruise. I think this one's actually gonna transition relatively well. I'm curious to see how the ending with going into the thunder is gonna look. Okay, he still, he got rid of the mushroom. No, he didn't, okay. I thought the mushroom was just gone. Okay, let's see how this is. Hey, nice, oh cool. Oh, that's sick. That was actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, I don't know if he could even add the lightning. There might be a way to do that, but that'd probably be really hard. Also, why is there no sound effect? There's just no sound effect when you get the cloud or when you get the coin. All right, so let's see how Koopa Cape is. I think this one can work really well. Um, well, this was technically in Mario Kart 7, wasn't it? I, I'm pretty sure that was remade in Mario Kart 7. I, I don't know if I'm actually going faster in the water though, like you're supposed to. Oh, what the, whoa, okay. All right, that works. Oh, they're not moving. Okay, yeah, I would definitely try to find a way to make those move. You get them to rotate, then I would say this is overall solid. Although it is kind of weird that it's not like, it's like a half loop instead of just like a giant or a giant tube that you're in. Okay, okay, well, at least those stop. Those do like stop you, even though they don't really do what they're supposed to do. What? Oh no. Oh no, I saw flocked, I GBJ'd. All right, well, we'll just move to we're moving to Sweet Sweet Canyon. It's really interesting to see how many Mario Kart 8 tracks have been ported over. I wasn't expecting this many. Okay, let's see how this looks. All right, that's pretty, wow, that's actually very faithful to the original. Uh, the cones are missing, it's not really that big a deal, but it'd be cool to have the cones in there. Okay, this one actually looks really well done. The music is really freaking fantastic as well. It fits the sound font uh, pretty well. That was one of the best remakes by far.
Okay, I don't I don't see a lot of the moving parts working because Bowser Castle from Mario Kart 8 has so many moving elements. I feel like the stage itself is going to look good. Like, so far, it, yeah, it definitely looks good, but... Oh, no. Okay, that definitely needs to get... It's a beta. It's going to happen, but holy crap, that's a big invisible wall. Okay, the cannon's not moving, or the, the, the spiky ball. Okay, yeah, Bowser's not moving either. That... I cannot, I don't know how he would even do that. Yeah, I gotta say, this one's got some weird collision. I don't know. Okay, I didn't run into that weird uh, ramp, the invisible ramp. Yeah, so even the, oh my god, I almost died there. Jesus. No, I will say, the length of the course feels really good. Uh, it feels it feels maybe a, a tiny bit short, but overall, it doesn't feel like it's being um, too drawn out, too drawn out, which is, which is always appreciated. Oh my god, that, why? Why is the spawn over lava? Now, this Rainbow Road, I have seen this one before. This is quite possibly one of the best Rainbow Roads I've ever seen in my life. And uh, it's a one track lap and you're gonna see exactly why, okay? This Rainbow Road is fantastic. So as you can see, starts us off in a SNES Mario Kart. You no, know, nice little throwback, right? It's got the same turns, you know, it's looking all good, right? Uh, then, you know, we just keep on going after that. Wow, we're in Mario Kart 64's Rainbow Road. Now, that's pretty cool. You know, got a bit of a Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart 64 kind of going on. But we're not done there, guys, because now we are in Mario Kart Super Circuit's Rainbow Road. And now you might understand the gimmick. This Rainbow Road is a mashup of every single previous Rainbow Road that's ever existed. Well, that's ever existed from Nintendo anyway. And now we're in Double Dash's Rainbow Road. And even, like, the backgrounds are very, very similar. He somehow made them all kind of work. Like, this looks... It kind of looks like Double Dash's background, but the, the layout is, you know, pretty much flawless to the original. All right, and now we're leaving Double Dash's, and we're going right into Mario Kart Wii's. I just realized that we didn't go to Mario Kart DS. Maybe we'll do Mario Kart DS later. Okay, here we go. So now we're doing Mario Kart. This is the Mario Kart DS portion. And now we're in Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road. And finally, we're in the space station, finishing up on Mario Kart 8's. Absolutely incredible. One of the best Rainbow Road uh, mods, I've, one of the best ROM hacks I've ever played for Rainbow Road. So that was half the tracks. Even though most of those were retro, uh, I guess we're gonna be trying out more retro. So let's swap out characters and jump into more things. All right, we gotta do Master Chief. I mean, damn. Okay, so we have yet again another Mario Kart 8 D remake. Really, really good music. I don't know if he's ever gonna get those, uh, the giant toys moving like they're supposed to, but either way, still looks really good. Haven't really seen anything get removed necessarily besides the toys not moving. Okay, and those things aren't moving. Oh my gosh. Damn. All right, we're playing Mushroom Giage. Not Mushroom Gorge, but Mushroom Giage. I think this level was also recreated in Mario Kart 7. Oh, wow. Okay, the mushrooms are now squares? Okay, that's a little weird. I kind of get why I did that, though. It would be very hard to navigate on the circle. There might have been, like, collision issues as well. Besides that, I think this is actually very, very faithful to the original. All right, well, I guess we'll try the left path. See if that's faster or not. I don't know. Oh, what? Why? I should have looked at the freaking mini-map. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm just glad the spawn spot isn't, like, in a death pit, which is nice. This is our third Mario Circuit track. This one, of course, coming from Mario Kart Super Circuit, but it's another D remake. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be a short course. We're already, like, halfway through it. We're only, like, ten seconds in. Okay, overall, you know, actually, really, again, you know, another faithful track. It's got all the boosts and stuff where they need to be. And it's also a pretty good length, too. Although the beginning kind of feels like more shrunk down and the ending feels like larger. I don't know what's going on with that, but otherwise, really good. Okay, now is, I guess, the new course, even though I don't think it's actually new. Oh, actually, you know what? No, never mind. I don't know what the heck this is. I'm trying to remember, because there's like hundreds of CTGP courses. This, this probably comes from CTGP, but I don't think it's ever been ported to DS. Oh my god. Holy ramp, Batman. Whoa, this level's sick. Wow, this is like, the, this is a slap in tune too. It's very slapping. Whoa, wow, this course is very expansive. Oh, can I go up here? Yes, I can go up here. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you can do that. Next, we got DK Jungle, DK Summit, Donat Plains, and Thwomp Ruins. So these are all not a single brand new track in this one. Nice, the Tiki Heads, that's cool. He's got those in. Uh, I would definitely try to get the Tiki Heads moving though, if you can. Make that part a little bit more challenging. Oh my god, okay, so DK Summit, or Mario Kart Wii, already has snow falling. 
That's an awesome touch. Whoa. Okay, cool. We went through a tree and I died. I'm not dead. That wasn't out of bounds. Look at the map. You don't even see them. I think the racers are just invisible. What the heck? I don't know what's going on, but... All right, do not playing SNES. And once again, like I said a thousand times, it's another D remake, which I honestly kind of like because the SNES courses looked and felt kind of boring on the DS anyway. So it is cool to see it, you know, look actually, you know, revamped and reimagined. What the heck? Okay, I was like, is there holes in the course? No, it's just the puddles. <laughs> now Thwomp Ruins. I do not see this one. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't see this one having a lot of moving parts either. There's so many moving parts. This is not the right song. Figure eight circuit. Even the bottom screen is a Bowser Castle map. I don't know what's going on here. Can you even ride the walls? Okay, that's actually not bad. He tried to add that in. That actually kind of works. He has the thwomps moving though. That's pretty cool. At least you you can at least you can go through the thwomps. Can you go through all the thwomps? I don't even know. I'm gonna try it. Nope. Yes. <laughs> I got pushed through it. Oh my, what am I playing? Mario 64? Okay, so even though a lot of this track is still needs a bit of work, I do think it looks very, very nice. Uh, the textures are extremely faithful, so I gotta give it that. It does look very nice. We're doing Daisy Circuit on Mario Kart Wii right now. I gotta say, music's not too bad. Okay, the shortcut's still there too. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, that's gotta be fixed. Another big invisible wall. We're gonna, oh God. Oh no, what's going on? Why am I bouncing in the air? What is, what the heck is happening? Hello? Okay, I escaped. I escaped it. I escaped whatever the heck that was. All right, well, since there was an invisible wall on the right side, okay, the left side seems to be better, which is good. Okay, so I think what I need to do, stay on the left side, then go to the right. That's the strategy. That's how you avoid the invisible walls. Okay, I've got this all figured out. And yet again, guys, another D remake. Cheese Land from Mario Kart 8, but from Mario Kart Sur Sur Super Super Soaker. Okay, so they got rid of, rid of a lot of the little cheese ramps, which is understandable. It'd probably be kind of hard to get those in there without messing up the collision. Chain Chomp is missing. I'm sure that'll be added in the future. Surprisingly, the way the course is kind of like molded, it actually is very, very faithful to the original, which I'm kind of surprised. I thought that'd be kind of hard to mold such a weedy track, but he managed to do it here. And now for Neo Bowser City, this is a, it's a very weird one to be playing because this came from Mario Kart 7. So yeah, this is one of those tracks where there's just like a ton of flashing lights and stuff. And instead of trying to make flashing lights, he basically just got, you know, good pictures of all the backgrounds and textured the, them all in. And it actually looks rather faithful, which is kind of amazing considering how insanely detailed the Mario Kart 7 track is. And for the umpteenth time, we're playing another remake of Rainbow Road on SNES. It's re... Is in Super Mario Kart, it's in Mario Kart Super Circuit, Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart 8, even Mario Kart Tour for crying out loud. And here it is, once again. This is sick, this is actually so sick. Riding on the edge of the road. Let's go! I wanna see how far I can go. This is so cool, there's a box! <laughs> there's a box! No! Oh, come on. I wanna know how I rode the edge like that. I don't even know what happened. That was so weird. Because we're about to play some freaking Cascade Kingdom. Hello. Let's see how this is. God, I cannot believe this exists. This is so sick. Wow. It looks very... Ah, oh, I'm dead. So I wonder if he added a T-Rex or anything. Even just like a, a picture of him. Oh, that's cool. You can see the uh, the moon. You can see your, uh, your hub. The hub. You can see the giant hat. Oh, I just realized there's a power moon too in the background. Oh, that's cool. I wish I could. I wish you could get power moons. It'd be kind of cool. Replace coins with power moons, even though there are no coins in Mario Kart DS. Well, I gotta say that was a treat. There actually wasn't a lot to the level. Didn't really do too much with the Cascade formula besides kind of make it look like it. But still, I'll take it. That was pretty sick. Okay, this is looking like another D remake, par usual. So if anything, this is almost like Mario Kart DS, but with every Mario Kart 8 track. It's like. It's literally like over half of these tracks are just from Mario Kart 8. Okay, so the biggest question that I know everyone's asking here, can you travel to the castle? Nope, they put up a big gate. I'm going for it anyway. Maybe you can go through it. Maybe with the right item, you can go through it. I'm going to try for a little bit. Yes, okay, here we go. This is my chance. Take a dice. Yes. 
Oh my god! We're going to Peach's castle! We're going to her castle, boys! Let's go! Oh my god! It's not out of bounds! What? <laughs> oh my god! This is so funny! It wasn't out of bounds! Now I'm screwed, though. I don't think I'm escaping. I think I just soft-locked myself out of here. Oh, never mind. I can go through the gate. Okay, now I'm going to actually play the course. Wow, that's so funny. I actually got through. Now on to Piranha Plant Slide, one of the greatest courses in Mario Kart 7. I don't know if it's... It, this is looking a lot like the uh, original version and not the remake in Mario Kart 8. Yeah, okay. This is actually not a Mario Kart 8 track. Wow. Okay, yeah, this definitely looks a lot more like Mario Kart 7. Oh, the water is a little weird. Okay, there we go. Now it looks like we're in water. Okay, the piranha plants have not been added. I feel like that's one of the... They, you definitely got to add the piranha plants because the level's literally called Piranha Plant Slide. Uh, but besides not having the piranha plants, it's actually very faithful to uh, the original one. All right. That was the best moment. Do not fix that. Keep that in. Dude, it's still... It's not out of bounds. It's not out of bounds. Guys, welcome to Boundary Break. My name is She Says. Yeah, this Mario Kart DS Deluxe. Yeah, when you uh, take the camera and, and move out of the way, you see this. It looks kind of plain. What do I do? <laughs> I'm stuck. And on to our last course, another Rainbow Road, but for Mario Kart Super Circuit. But for some reason, it has the textures of Super Mario Kart? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so they've still got... Whoa. They've still got the little tiny ramp. I like that. Now we're... What the heck? Is this another mashup, or is this supposed to be Mario Kart Super Circuit? Okay, this seems like another mashup. I'm not going to complain. I like the mashups. The mashups are cool. Now I'm dead. How far back did that put me? All right, well, you know what? We're going to try taking the right ramp, seeing if I don't die here. Okay, there we go. Nice. Although I don't know why this is in here. I don't remember this from Mario Kart Super Circuit. Oh, Lawnmower Guys. Hey, dude, I'm almost done recording. Lawnmower Guy. Whew. Well, there you have it, guys. So 31, except for Del Final Square. 31 out of 32 brand new Mario Kart DS tracks. I gotta say, this is a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, definitely, there needs to be a bit more work put into some of the courses. Um, but, you know, overall, this was a lot of fun. There was a lot of really awesome ideas. Definitely, you know, the Peach's Castle one, where you go into the bomb battlefield through the painting. Definitely the best course of the bunch. And uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was a lot of fun. I'll probably do more Mario Kart DS stuff in the future. And uh, with that said, thanks for hanging out near the boulders. I appreciate it. See you guys. <laughs>